Hey guys, what's up? I'm Clance and uh, today I'm going to um, swap my current snare head, which is an Evansonics, with a Strata 700. I've got this head thanks to the the Dario Player Circle. It's actually my first head uh, that I have received in that way. So if you have Evans heads or Pro Mark 6 with the Dario uh, strings or any of that type of material coming from the good folks over at the Dario, you can have your code and you can put it onto the Player Circle site. It's just a great way to get some free gear. This is the Evans Onyx. Uh, this is a Drumcraft Series 8 snare drum, 10 lug maple shell, 14x5. And um, just going to play a bit for you so that um, you hear how, how it sounds right now. And uh, then we're going to switch the heads and um, we're going to tell you all the ins and outs of the Strata. So let's go with that. So it is a very wide open head, it is um, not really focused but it has a lot of overtones which is great for recording situations I believe. Uh, you can always mute the head, you can always um, have some tape or have some moon gel or anything in regards to that uh, to get a bit more control over the head. Um, but it is already three or four years old so I'm going to swap it out with this one. And like I said, this is a Strata head. I've actually never heard of it. I've uh, seen Carter McLean um, get those heads on his drums and I thought that they sounded phenomenal. So uh, it's a very thin head, which is kind of scary to me because I've never really used a very thin head on the snare drum. The thinnest head that I've used on the snare drum in the last five years is a UV1 or a G1. Uh, always Evans, I love Evans. But uh, yeah, today I'm going to try out something new. Um, this has a small little muffling ring um, inside of the head, which should um, reduce the overtones and should give me a bit more of a focused sound, but still the very thin head would make it very lively. So I'm really curious. I'm going to put it on. I'm very scared of busting it, but uh, let's just see. How it works. Okay, so the head is loose, it has come off, it has um, a lot of damage. It's um, it has seen the best of times. It's also very, very um, rough on the edges. Lots of dust, lots of grime. It's a disgusting head right now. I'm not going to use it again. So this is uh, going in the bin. Uh, now what I really encourage you to do is if you have a snare drum like this and you have the head off, make sure that you clean around the edges a bit because as you might see, there is a bit of dust coming off, uh, which is not really harmful for your sound, but I think that just gives it a bit of peace of mind to have a uh, to have a nice and clean surface area. So the strata goes on. Um, just to give you a bit of an idea, this head is really thin uh, in regards to this one, which has no play whatsoever. So whilst that is done. Uh, I have one of those nifty keys with a uh, kind of like a null part of, on the top. This one is from Tama, but I believe Remo and Pearl makes a lot of them. Uh, I do believe Evans makes one of them as well, but I just have these handy. And what you do is uh, if you uh, just 
Put your tuning key on top and you just let it roll for a bit until you finally reach resistance. That's a good way of knowing uh, when your uh, tension rod is hitting the hoop. So this also eliminates uh, your fingers getting uh, all greasy and messed up because, uh, because of the um, uh, oil or grease inside of the lugs. After that, you want to uh, make sure that every uh, lug is finger tied. Every rod is at the same level of resistance in every lug, which is important. So I'm just going finger tied on everything. In the old days, you would do that on the thread, but nowadays, thanks to these keys, you can actually uh, do that with, uh, with your tuning key. It saves a bunch of time and also saves a bunch of uh, pain as well. Absolutely love this so This is something that I did not really expect from a seven and a half mil uh, head. So that is the Strata 700 Staccato. Um, this is by far the most sensitive snare drum head that I've ever tried, and it's also one of the best sounding snare drum heads that I've ever tried. To, to be completely honest with you, it has no overtones. It, well, it does have overtones. But they get out of the way really quickly when you They really get out of the way really quickly, which is awesome. So the Evan Strata 700 Staccato drum head. It has been on my snare drum for an hour right now. I have been playing it a lot and it did not lose its tuning much. Maybe just a little bit, but that's because I didn't want to seed it. And the reason why I don't want to seed it is because with thicker heads, I seed my my heads always because it seems to be the good thing to do. They will keep it keep their tuning better. But with the uh, head as thin as this, I was a bit scared to do so. And in my honest opinion, this is a brilliant snare drum head i absolutely love it and if this one breaks i will get another one maybe i will go with the thicker one they have a 700 and i believe the thousand not sure about that um but they have two types of staccato models in the strata range um the strata staccato heads have that muffling ring that i uh, mentioned before and the non staccato heads just have a single ply of mylar uh, without any uh, muffling to it. So the staccato really is uh, meant for a snare drum sound to have no overtones or very little overtones. As you can hear in the video, the buzz rolls come out really nicely. Um, they are very sensitive. Uh, they are also very dynamic. But if you hit loud, uh, or if you have a lot of velocity behind your stroke, um, the head kind of chokes up. Um, with recording, it's barely noticeable. It is uh, still a very usable snare drum sound. And it also is great because if you hit for, like, like let's say an hour on a medium to high velocity, it doesn't lose its tuning. 
So I would say that the snare drum head is very, very good. It is good for a medium to high velocity, but don't use it at a super high velocity. If you want to use this live with your punk band, the, the head's not going to hold up. Honestly, it's not going to. But for a soft environment or a medium environment, like a small club gig where you have to play with like 5A's or 7A's or something, along those lines or even with brushes because the snare drum has a very nice type of coating on it. It's kind of like a frosted coating but not too much. So if you are in those kinds of environments this snare drum head is perfect for you. Um, I'm not going to get it for the toms because um, I don't want to have <laughs> super muffled heads on the toms and I feel that the uh, non staccato variants maybe has a bit too much overtones and I don't want to spend my money on that I rather spend my money on like a G1 or a UV1 or a G12 uh, because I know what kind of sound comes from that that's going to do it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it um, and I will see you guys later